one season, keeping him through 2021. The team looking for a little stability after a tough year in which they not only missed the playoffs for the first time since 2013, they lost both Antonio Brown and Love Bell to the best offensive weapons in football. Tomlin entering his 13th season with the Steelers. He's reached the playoffs eight times in that span. Bart, what's your reaction to Tomlin getting one extra year? Well, I think he's still on the hot seat. Um, organizations have this thing that they do with coaches where they don't want them to be lame duck coaches. Um, it shows a lack of stability with the team, and you want them to have power. So you give them a one-year extension. So if you fire them the fi following year, that they'll be able to have income as they search for their new job. That's why you see when guys get fired, they go is, they go straight to television because they we call it double dipping. So, I mean, I wouldn't look too much into them giving them extension it would have been a multiple year extension if they really believed. I think this is a very important year for him because it was a lack of institutional control last year when you hear all this all the things that come you know, you know out of that organization whether it was Le'Veon Bell whether it's Antonio Brown seemed like it was a lack of structure I think they got rid of those guys and said listen we believe in you Mike but this is a year where you have to pull everything back together and show that you're an unquestioned leader well and it should be noted he he had two years on his deal so now he has three years guaranteed on his deal okay. so he wasn't quite in the lame duck year but it also wasn't a multi-year extension so I it, it was to me they were kind of trying to thread the needle on we want to extend him so his length of contract at least goes as long as Ben Roethlisberger's does but not tie us to him for multiple years in the future right. now the Steelers Jenna said it earlier have had three coaches in the last 50 years mm -hmm. it went Chuck Knoll to Bill Cowher to Mike Tomlin it also should be noted this Mike Tomlin has an unimpeachable resume of success. He has never had a losing season. They have made the playoffs eight times in 12 years. They, if, if we are talking about the best coaches in the NFL, Belichick, Reed, Sean Payton, John Harbaugh, Pete Carroll, Mike Tomlin are your top six. You can pick the order. That's not the order I would have it in, by the way. But mm -hmm. those are your six guys that you know are great head coaches. Now, last year was a down year. Last year was a year, not only down year because they missed the playoffs, but because it did seem like he had kind of lost the tether on the team to a degree. The year before that, they went 13-3. and three. They, they lost a terrible playoff game to the Jags, which seemed to almost be a sign of things to come for the following season. But it's not that they've had consecutive bad seasons. They had an awful ending to their season two years ago and then a down year by their standards. But I... If Mike Tomlin were to get fired, if he didn't want to go into TV, he'd be out of work about five minutes. Right. He would instantly get another job. We saw a different Super Bowl winning head coach, Mike McCarthy, get fired this offseason. He, he still doesn't have a job. Now, maybe he could have, maybe he turned one down, or maybe the league wasn't as high on him as I believe they would be on Tomlin. But, of course, it's a big year because every year in Pittsburgh where Big Ben is still your quarterback, you have legitimate, not only playoff, but Super Bowl aspirations. Now you have to do it with the least talented team that you've had offensively in the last five seasons. Why is he so good, CeCe? How has a guy like that been able to survive what a lot of people would call dysfunction within that Pittsburgh franchise for the last couple of years mm -hmm. and be successful? at doing it? Mike Tomlin is a great motivator. He's a great communicator. Young guys buy into him. Young people want to follow him. He's dynamic. I mean, he's motivational. His speeches, man, are second to none. Like, when he speaks to a team of grown men, like, he has the ability to be able to get their attention. And when he was a defensive back coach, he was one of the great teachers that we had. When you come to work, you have a guy, you're a young player, you're trying to learn this game, you think you know something, you get someone like Mike Tomlin, and they start showing you how the league works, they start teaching you about offenses, you're like, wow, I feel like I got a chance to be able to earn a living. And he's become a great leader, the guys love him, they love playing for him, and the Pittsburgh Steelers, they trust him. That's one of the great stats in all of football. 60 years or so, Pittsburgh Steelers, they got three coaches. It's one of the great stats that, 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 that you'll ever see. So you guys might not remember this. Bart might remember it vaguely. But the last coach they had, man, they won his head. He won every year, Bill Cowher. Yeah. Every year he was getting ready to get fired. And, yeah. and, and Mike Tomlin's already won one. Yeah. And the organization was super patient with Bill Cowher. He's one of my favorite coaches. Does a great job on television and everything. But let's not forget, this is not a normal organization. If the Pittsburgh Steelers gave me a three-year contract, you know what I'd be saying? That's a long term. 
That's long term. Short term is one or two years. Yeah. Long term in, in the business now is three or four. He's got a long term contract and it matches up with my star quarterback in Ben Roethlisberger. So they're letting them know because the Pittsburgh Steelers aren't into paying people off and just going home. Yeah. All right. So to me, this allows Mike to be able to regain his voice. Bart in that locker room that becomes very important. Well, they got to get back to stiller football. I mean, they were last in the league in rushing the ball. They, they've been airing it out because of how good Ben Roethlisberger is, and as the league is changing. But it's going to be a lot on those players. You know, you think about James Conner, you think about Juju. He's going to have. They're going to have to step up, and they're going to see. You know, if he can coach now, because now you got to coach. Sometimes you can lean on your star players just to be great. Antonio Brown, mm, you know, making point. things happen. You know, Le'Veon Bell making things happen. You think about some of those end of the game plays that they made to win games when they were just better than the other person. You know, Antonio Brown making one-arm catches into double coverage. Now he's going to have to coach. This team is going to have to win, not just lean on individuals. And they're trying to get back to their way. Their secondary has been horrible. They finally decided to replace Shazier. We're bringing in Devin Bush. For mm -hmm. that defense to work, they have to have an impact type of middle linebacker. You think about Ferrier, think about Larry Foote, you think about, mm -hmm. you know, some of the great middle linebackers that they had. You know, and they're trying to get back to their identity identity and understanding that it flows through the coach first. But a lot of people will argue that Mike Tomlin won the Super Bowl with Bill Cowher's players. You know, and Bill Cowher laid a lot of the groundwork for that. He, he's got to, he's had success, but now that division is catching up with them. As mm -hmm. they've ushered out old quarterbacks, you know, you look about the new d dynamic quarterbacks that's coming in, and Baker Mayfield's going to have to be dealt with. Lamar Jackson at Ravens defense. This is a tough division to play in, and now he's going to have to do it and coach those guys up. But so you're, uh, and that was a criticism of Tomlin. Not a criticism, but kind of an asterisk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen, they won a Super Bowl early. They went back to a Super Bowl two years later. It was Cower system, Cower's players. So let's just look at recent history. All the Cower guys except for Big Ben gone. Since 2015, only two teams in the NFL have won more game in this, games in the series, the Patriots and the Chiefs. Since 2015, only the Patriots have been to more playoff games than the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is considered the down part of his tenure. Mm -hmm. The beginning was considered the wild success. Win a Super Bowl in year two, go back in year four. The last four years, which have been the, more of the struggle, they've still been a great team. This is where you are a victim of your success, where the standard of excellence is so high that nine, six, and one, which is what they were last year, is considered a disaster. There, there are a couple things. One, I discredit what you're saying as far as getting credit for winning with another um, person's players. This is not college, mm -hmm. all right? It's not like you on scholarship, you're out recruiting. Those players were drafted by the Pittsburgh front office. Pittsburgh's front office have drafted great players. That's why those coaches have stayed there, because their front office has really supported that. Now, and they won with defense. They yeah. didn't win with offense. If he had switched it over and was on the offense side, I'd been like, okay. No, but they won with defense. The two things against Tomlin, the conduct of his star players, and they haven't been good defensively. Those are the two bad marks on a guy. He's one of five coaches with no losing seasons his first 12 years in the league. We said, which is the 100th season. That means he's a pretty I, special coach. And those other four See, guys, Curly Lambeau's got a stadium named after him. Don Shula, some consider him the greatest coach ever. George Allen, a legend. And Marty Schottenheimer, who the, for him, he just had repeated playoff failures when the regular season was extraordinary. That's an all-time list right there. But, but the thing is, it's easy to win a division when you have the best quarterback in it. And he's had the best quarterback in the division probably for the last 10 years. And that's been the difference between the Steelers and the Ravens, is that the Ravens, they both had great defenses, Hall of Famers on both sides, but they They've had the better quarterback, and Ben has been special when it came down to those last-minute drives. Put some respect on Andy Dalton's name. We got to <laughs> take a break. Bart, stick around. Coming up, could a Zeke hold out and derail the Cowboys season before it even starts? That's next on First Things First.